Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. Officially, it's New Year's Day, so happy New Year's Day guys. For my subscribers in the Far East, India, China, etc., it's New Year's Day has already gone. They're one day ahead of us, right? What do I have for you guys this morning is going to be yummy, yummy for the tummy. Let's start off with this. Neo was last trading at $9.06, down 36 cents. The, I think it's found its bottom. I keep saying that, $9. The 52-week low is $7 and the 52-week high is $16.18. As a disclaimer, I have 2,260 shares at $3.53 and another 478 shares at $8.77. That's on the SoFi platform. Let me start off this video by saying this. It will set the stage for what you all are about to hear. The late great Martin Luther King said, We shall overcome because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. And we've seen that from time immemorial. Even when Gandhi had to fight in India, justice always prevails. <clears throat> right now, there's a lot of shorts, negative Nancy's, the fake news media outlets in the West that is spreading continuous lies and fear and FUD. They barely covered the 89 that I'm sure dumbfounded them. And there's reasons for that. Right now, they keep riding the Tesla coattail, hoping that Tesla can do something magically to change what's happening, but they can't. And like the great Martin Luther King said, the truth will always come to the light. So having said that, remember when they said wasting money on phones? and now they're doing it. Remember when they said wasting money on battery swap, now Ample is trying to do it. Remember when they said <clears throat> wasting money on in-house chip, and now other companies are trying to do it. <laughs> My friend, they know everything that King William Lee is doing is gonna make us the behemoth, the monster, the dominator, but this, in it while they buy shares into it. Remember that guy I told you all on Fox Business ad admitted that he has shares in NEO? He never said that before, right? Okay, this is why the wh whales are buying and they sit back quietly. They are trying to do it. We are setting the trend and doing the impossible, the unthinkable. Now, I want you guys to look at this video it's a short clip, but I want you guys to remember something. This is the same guy who did a video on Neo recently showcasing it and showing why it will be the Tesla killer. Showing why it has the ultimate advantage because you don't have to stop and charge if you don't want to. The same guy just did a video on a Model 3. <laughs> he has over a million subscribers. I'm just gonna run a little clip on it to show you yet again how the truth is coming to light little by little. Check it out, guys. A screen that does everything, right? And in front of you is nothing. Kind of looks like though, uh, fake wood paneling we used to have in cellars in the 1960s. So you're looking there, but all your information is over here. It's disconcerting for a lot of drivers. I do have to say, when I tested out that electric Volvo a few months ago, I really liked it because it was more like a car. And they had all the instrument panels here. It even had a cool gear shift knob that was made out of European crystal, you know? So I gotta say, for traditionalists, you just feel weird driving, looking at nothing, and then all the information is over here. Now, it doesn't obstruct your field of vision like some of the Toyota screens do that actually incurs into the glass but at the same time when you're looking ahead you gotta look over here to see stuff and touch them to me 
Yeah, that's kind of counterintuitive. I don't know. And of course, it's going to have electric parking brakes because everything on this car is electric. The only thing we got here is a brake pedal and a gas pedal. And of course, it's got all the crazy link profiles and stuff you can put it in. He's using the front for his backpack. Now, not all that much space that's usable unless you happen to have something that's this bizarre shape, you know? It's only using electricity. Creating electricity, yeah. That's probably polluting it somewhere else. But the car itself isn't doing anything. You don't have to worry about it throwing anything out. The only thing that these put more pollution out is grow particles from the tires. When you're driving on a road, rubber micro particles go around and now they're finding out that a lot of these rubber micro particles, and they have plastic in them too, are one of the main contributors of water pollution. So welcome back guys. I hope this sheds some light in for you all to understand that the truth is coming to light everyone is realizing it that the teslas are not holding their value because after like i said this before after five years or so the battery is degraded so much the car is worthless it can only be used as planters in your backyard i love my flowers so whenever one of my neighbors is getting rid of theirs because they can't sell it may, perhaps i'll use it as a planter but uh, no nah, never mind it'll look too grotesque on my landscape Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys understand now and it gives you more conviction the truth is coming to light and more and more videos like this you guys are going to see and finally what's going to happen is the media is going to start changing their tone in order when they realize that they can't beat this drum anymore they're going to get out of it. Also, I wanted to explain something to you guys what I just saw. A battery ship carrying lithium ion batteries reaches Alaska on fire. <laughs> Would you guys say now that the research and development that we were doing to come up with that semi solid state battery that the negative Nancy's are saying, oh, but well, it costs too much because they don't understand that we can rent the battery, we don't have to buy it, and we don't have to worry about it catching on fire and it'll carry us further on one charge. Boom, boom, boom. Would you say that money was wasted? Cash burn? Or would you say it was well spent on research and development? So, <laughs> I want to make a bold prediction. With these Mercedes catching on fire, with these ships, and this is not the first ship that caught on fire with these lithium ion batteries that was just sitting. It wasn't even being used, just like that one Mercedes. I'll try to find a video where the lady said it, she rented it because her car was at the dealer, something happened and it was parked in a garage. It wasn't even being charged and it caught on fire. So I wanna make a bold prediction. I wanna say that either they're gonna outlaw lithium ion batteries altogether or They'll have to, all of them, like they're doing now, bending the, knee to, the, bending the knee to King William Lee, will have to adopt battery as a service like we see that they're doing because we can check the health of the battery automatically. But perhaps semi-solid state battery is the future and they will outlaw lithium ion altogether. And then you will see where battery as a service is dominating the landscape because you can't afford to buy the battery, but you can rent it, and then you never have to worry about the battery. So I hope you guys found this video to give you some more confidence to understand that Tesla days are coming to an end because their, their cause is not holding the value, whereas Neo is holding intrinsic value. 20, 30 years from now, you can still have that Neo. My business partner, Dave, his uh, TikTok channel, Growth Stock 22, we were discussing about this and he agrees with me. So if you guys found this video informational and inspirational to start off your new years, guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so. And don't forget to share this on your social media, guys. Let's grow this channel and grow awareness to Neo. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset like Fitty said. We get rich or we die trying, guys.